all these problems we talk about environment and civic issues the core problem is behavioral uh, we all know what has to be done but none of us do what has to be done we develop a process which can be replicated which can be scaled and using this process one can attempt to solve these problems college got over like most people i thought i'll sit for placements but um, something told me not to opt for that so along with two friends started collecting garbage from about 100 150 households for about 9 months uh, while doing this i realized a lot of things first i realized that all these problems we talk about environment and civic issues the core problem is behavioral uh, we all know what has to be done but none of us do what has to be done we have worked with about 100 to 200 schools both private and government one of the schools is Uh, Deccan International School in Bangalore. First, it it took it took us about one to two years to you know kind of set systems in place with the students there. We started addressing water because a water was an important issue to be solved there according to the school and the school management. I think we have saved in the last two to three years about hundred thousand liters of water. So the first thing we made the students do was we provided them a water audit. The school was using water at some uh, centers. The consumption was very high. So the first uh, place was hand wash area. we kind of asked the students to measure so we took a beaker they switched on the tap for 10 seconds how much of water was coming they gauged that okay so you can see that over here the flow is slowed down the students actually put this intervention inside the tap and then we realized that the same beaker which was full you know when we had no intervention inside the tap almost was full for like 1/4 or like half so the rest 3/4 or the half of the beaker was still free so now imagine when you are washing the hands day in and day out in schools how you can save a lot of water there the shri kumaran children's uh, home this was a school which gave us the first opportunity of working with the students uh, we have been in the school for 4 years i'm mrs deepa shridhar the principal of shri kumaran children's home cbse which is in bangalore we have been associated with reap benefit for the last 4 uh, to 5 years we very closely work with uh, kuldeep and gautam as a team these children have been working with environment and sustainability issues and probably expanding their horizons which is beyond academics One of the first few things we did in this school energy audit. So the first thing what we did was we reduced the brightness contrast. So we have a, a power meter. For the first time, the students actually understand how much of energy the computer is consuming, and once they understand, they work on the brightness contrast. And I think each computer saves about one unit per month. So imagine if there are 50 computers, 60 computers, they can do that. Simple intervention can be done by the students. So now let's make it as zero. Yeah, I'll just show you the difference. Yeah, at zero, it has reduced. We have seen now students watts. coming up with a lot of solution when it comes to technology, and these students are taking technology to so solve these problems. In this school, what we tried this year was the seniors went to the juniors and did the same activity what we did for them. Please come explain the this thing, and we'll have Gautam explaining the technology part of it. So basically, this dustbin has been divided into two parts. My name is Namya Sinha. I'm from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, and I study in the 11th standard now. I started working with Reap Benefit last year. Then I got to learn a lot. I may have a lot of ideas, but I I don't have a platform to express it. So I think Reap Benefit gave me a platform like that. So we have. Uh, so as you can see, there are two sections here. One is uh, dustbins. That is one such intervention, uh, which we have designed. Uh, the human center dustbins which enhance segregation now here we'll be putting sensors so that you know the support staff can take a more informed decision where waste is being put and how uh, what are the waste disposal patterns and that will give them more knowledge on where the dustbin should be put and how the dustbin should be put and the data will be communicated to the larger school so these are some of the top things we have done and now students have come up with their uh, newer ideas now technology has come and from these students we realize that uh, we have to build an app wherein we can integrate everything together so in more ways than one we are understanding what the young people have to say and how we can go about building it i've been an ashoka fellow since i think 2013 so it's been about 3 years now the process of ashoka kind of try to make sure that uh, 
uh, reap benefit as an organization and me as an individual have that conviction also i got access to a lot of interesting people uh, i got to speak to a lot of people i have admired so these kind of things ashoka kind of exposed me to they were looking for ideas i would like to believe which can go global and so we when we met these people we directly spoke about our work uh, they already had some background about our work they had more meaningful insights to give so from that for us that was very good because we got to meet more like minded people who can help us accelerate our mission so that was a very good uh, process what ashoka did